Hey guys, how's it going? GB Evil here. Welcome to episode number five of our Resistance Fall of Man gameplay. Uh, in the last episode, we finally uh, got away with finishing off the compound, uh, saved a couple of people. Actually, no, we didn't save a couple of people from the uh, the swarming things, and now we're about to continue scaring me and getting ambushed by more Chimera. Fortunately, I had a little bit of help. So, uh, if I if I spontaneously crouch, it's because the uh, the toggle is slightly busted. So. That's why. It's not because I'm gimpy. Alright. Uh, you switch. You switch. Well, let's hope this is going up. Yes. I'm going to be safe. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Alright. Alright. You watch Ambush, ready? Okay. Well, uh, they're making bombs. Oh, no way, that's people. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Alright. So, um, I'm not really sure which is the best one to do this with, but... Oh, Pigeon. Yep, that health is going to come in handy, I'm sure. Oh, what was that? No biggie. Oh, get away! Oh, every time I have a heart attack, I swear. Okay, if you're watching this and you know the game, and you know when one of those things is going to come out, you just are waiting for the moment I heart attack it. So... Congratulations to you. I hate this game. Yep, I just knew that that had to be shot. It's like, oh, something's, something's about to kill me. You can just tell. Ooh, the hedgehog. The hedgehog grenade is a Khmer and anti-personal munition. It is thrown like an ordinary hand grenade. Upon landing, it springs up and expands into a spiny cluster. As its kill height, the hedgehog at its kill height, the hedgehog fires spines in all directions with enough force to pin targets against nearby walls. The effect is especially deadly in confined quarters. Up and down to toggle grenades. Okay, more just up button. Of course, I only have one grenade, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. So they I, are not hedgehogs. They are probably. Electric death balls. Alright, so the thing about this uh this game is that you <coughs> have to um you have to remain focused or Yep, I saw that coming. I, I just knew it. Alright. <clears throat> so I think I was just there, so oh no, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, my accuracy is unparalleled. Alright. Get some health. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Yep. That'll be right. Walked into that ambush. Okay. I think that may have been a good place to use the hedgehog. So, thank you very much, guys, for uh, for warning me. Um, okay, so that doesn't have alternate fire. Guess what? <laughs> oh, ooh. Where did that come from? Alright. I'm going to have to turn the... Uh, the, that's not what I'm after. I'm going to have to turn the sensitivity up a little bit. It's a little bit low. I'm going to get myself killed. Oh, that's better. What's the trick for um instantly, like, facing the opposite direction? What was that? Oh, go away. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That guy's got a serious backhand. Oh. 
they were powerful. Alright, so... Just come over here. I think there are a lot of dead people. Where is that coming from? Ah, there we go. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna get ambushed. Ah, oh, this isn't good. Ooh. <laughs> oh no! It's like I'm just getting ambushed. Right, I am really sorry guys that I'm terrible at this kind of game. <laughs> but I'm trying, so just bear with me. <laughs> wow. I definitely chose too difficult. Did I did I put it on hard? If I did, I'm such a I'm so arrogant. <laughs> The reason I did is because I played number two, and I wasn't terrible. I mean, it wasn't good, but I figured, well, I'm experienced with the game, so I think I should be fine. But no, this is this is pretty hard. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> How do I pick these up? I can't. I'll just leave them. Ready and. Oh, <laughs> look at that! They didn't even get a shot off. Wow, he's got a serious right hook. Alright. So, I guess we just continue about it. Ah, look at this. Cutscene. Deafening cutscene. I was. The conversion center was built anything. on top of an old fish cannery. Ah. Networks of tubes okay, transported the, tubes the, bodies the bodies from one, from from one stage, stage of stage conversion to, to another. another. Once humans are infected Once humans by the, the, the virus, virus, they fall into a coma. Into coma. The virus begins changing, changing their bodies from the inside out. That's nasty. Eventually turning them into, into one of the Chimera creatures. creatures. The conversion centers simply <laughs> speed up the process. <laughs> wow. That music. That's that's lovely. That's really kind of glorious. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. So, uh, forgive me if I keep turning my head to the side. Um, my... If you, if you live in Australia, you know about something called the Big Bash League. Uh, and in my team, the team that I support, up the Sixers, uh, they are playing in the semi-final. And they are going not too badly, actually. They're on one for 57. Sergeant, Hale, come in. Sergeant, come in. I'm, I'm hyper patrol now. now. They, they must know we've escaped. escaped. Be careful. Okay. I wonder if I could take a ride in one of those tubes. That would be kind of disgusting and awesome at the same time. So... Tell me, if, if any if any of my subscribers, any awesome guys, all 82 of you, we can get to 100. Um, uh, if any of you work at a fishery or anything like that, are there, is this at all realistic? Like, are there tubes that transport fish around the place? Yep. Hedgehog! Cool. <laughs> Looked like it worked. Alright. Ooh, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> ah! I pressed circle. I assume in one un in one gaming universe that results in you changing weapons. <sighs> okay. Fortunately, I now have five hedgehogs. It's R2 to change weapons. That's ridiculous. Oh, okay. Nice of you to join me. Okay, that guy... <laughs> that guy was definitely dead at one point just then. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's such a joke. He was definitely dead. But I guess I could throw my weapons to like make sure there's nothing else that needs reloading because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. I'm sorry if I laugh at my jokes. It's just so rare that I make good jokes. And... Ah, well, you get what I mean. You feel me. Okay, so it's just a bit of a... Ooh, a bit of a tie roping across here. Ooh, look at that. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's those things. It's, I forget what you call it. Like, crawlers? Alright. 
Don't, ooh, look around the water. So, the Chimera essentially have hedgehogs on their back, by the looks of it. So, ooh, health, that'll become useful. That'll come in useful. Yes, they will. Look at that. Oh, that water, though. Oh, look at that. That's glorious. That's amazing. That is spectacular. Alright. Okay. So, it's taken me, uh... Longer than I would have liked to get to this point. But that's alright. What can you do? Okay, maybe I should stop turning corners so quickly. Ooh. During the second phase the second of the conversion, phase of conversion process, process, the humans are wrapped in cocoons. This accelerates the final, the final stages, stages of, the of conversion. What emerges from the cocoon is determined hmm. by the strain of the virus. Okay. Each Chimeran creature is created by a separate, separate strain. strain. What we call hybrids, the, hybrids the ones that most closely most resemble humans, humans, have the shortest, have the shortest gestation, gestation period. period. The more beastly the creatures, creatures take, take months, months to create, to create and are made from multiple human bodies. Ah, oh, that's nasty. And that music just just emphasised how disgusting that was. <laughs> Maybe I could just come in here and just, just shoot it. Oh, look at that. That's a cocoon. That's... Oh, that was my friend. That was Billy. We, we, we served in army school together. Come back, Billy. <laughs> oh, dear. Where's Johnny? He's somewhere here. Alright. Alright, let's do this. You guys are so dead. Ooh. 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 More of our little scorpion friends. There was a few, there was a, a few of them? Alright. So. Oh, dude. Where are they coming from? Oh, yeah. No. It's like, this game isn't meant to be scary. And it is. Unbelievable. Right. Oh, look at all these cocoons. Oh, dear. Let's see what happens if I hit one. Absolutely nothing. This is kind of creepy. This is kind of creepy. I need to keep looking because it sounds like. Alright, well, that didn't do anything. But, and. Hedgehog! Oh, I think I got him. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop him. So, Hail is essentially a hybrid. Yes! <laughs> but I'm going to have to stop there. Well, thanks all for watching episode number five, I think. Four or five. Five of our uh, Resistance Fall of Man let's play. I uh, hope you've enjoyed as much as I am, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. We keep going with what we're doing. Just give me a bell. Signing out. Bye.